Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's morning musings is your body is an energy transformer. It's a transmuting machine. I'm doing a series of daily morning musings, and I'm using posts from my blog, Adventures in Density and Effort, as inspiration. Now, I wrote these posts a long time ago, and the world is completely transformed since then. So as I read, if I encounter something that seems outdated, or I've had some additional revelation since then, I will interrupt myself and give you the most updated information. And at the end, if necessary, I will summarize the topic based on what's going on in the world today. And also, I have some special offers for you, so stay tuned to the end to see what they are. Your body is an energy transformer, a transmuting machine. My original training was to run energy, to clear and cleanse my space. The focus was on removing energy that wasn't yours, which made you highly alert to space invasion. The idea of space invasion was an insidious one. It causes resistance, and resistance invites energy, making you feel your space is invaded. Many years later, I heard David Spangler say, everyone you meet expands your universe. Quite a radical change from everyone you meet invades your space. It helped relax my resistance and made it easier as an empath and highly sensitive person to be around more people. Some time after, I heard a meditation by Pema Chodron, which I think was Tong Len. It required you to breathe in all the pain and suffering or whatever in the world and breathe out compassion. You can imagine how horrified I was by this idea. It was the exact opposite of all my training. You're supposed to cleanse out all your pain and not let anyone else's in. When I allowed myself to actually try it, what I discovered was this body is an energy transmuting machine. I had already come to realize that our bodies are also picture making machines that we're constantly creating and projecting pictures through which we view the world. This, however, was a whole different different level. We can all consciously use our bodies to transmute and radiate energy. Now, you don't have to go around sucking up all of the depression and despair. You can start with whatever currently is in your own space. You can sit quietly, close your eyes, and turn within. Notice your breathing, and as you're breathing, notice the energy in your body. Notice what is flowing and what is not. Imagine as you breathe your body as this magnificent energy machine. Notice as it naturally moves energy about with you. You don't have to do anything. It's as natural as breathing, as natural as blood flowing through your veins, as electrical impulses running along your nerves. Notice energy changing within you. How does this feel? Whatever you are feeling, let that flow along with the energy. Notice if you're feeling relaxed or calm or peaceful or joyous or love. Whatever you're feeling, allow it to begin to radiate. Imagine it resonating out from you like the tone of a large bell. You are sharing with the world your relaxation, your calmness, your peacefulness, your joyousness, your love. You are connecting and contributing to the larger pool of the same energy in the world. You are enhancing the collective consciousness. Continue to do this for as long as you feel like it. And when you're done, you can yawn and stretch and go about your day. I invite you to try this whenever you're thinking of it and notice how it transmutes your life. Now that actually incorporates a lot of techniques that I, I don't do anymore, but I I think they might be very relevant for you if you happen to be watching this. But what it does occur to me is I started doing a version of this kind of sort of uh, on the subway. Uh, when I am in New York, I'm in Flushing with my brother and sister-in-law, and I take my sister-in-law to Chemo in Manhattan in the Upper East Side. And so we're riding the 7 train to Grand Central Station and taking the 6 train up. And it became a really different thing when I wasn't glued to my phone and trying to get, you know, Twitter or threads in the subway station when I had coverage. But when I instead took a moment to turn within and get in touch with myself, what I noticed happened after that was reality started reorganizing in my favor. I started being able to bring more of a conscious awareness uh, or an awareness as consciousness to my reality and really helped deal with the density and energy of New York City and all the people and all their realities, and especially the density and energy of helping my sister-in-law with her cancer treatment. So it's a fun thing to consider. I'm flying back to New York next week for her next round of chemo, and I can play with tuning into my energy and sitting on the subway amongst all the people in their reality, but being in tune with my own reality. One of the things that I'm aware of is I can bring in presence. I can just bring in 
consciousness. When you bring presence or consciousness to anything, it transmutes the situation. It raises it to a higher level. So I invite you to try this and see what happens. I usually suggest playing with something spontaneously whenever it occurs to you over the next week to see what happens. Also, if you've had any experiences like this, please leave a comment below. I love to read your comments. And if you'd like to have a free sample of one of my consciousness techniques, click on the link below to the Skybox technique. And if you want to experience some of these things about changing your frequencies, I have a self-study course called Manifesting Money and Miracles, and you click on the link below to find out more about that. And if you want to know more, my website is joan-newcomb.com. I do individual sessions where I take a look at the essence of who you are and what's going on in your life today. And it's also recorded just for you. And if you want to learn how to do this for yourself, my self-study course is a great preparation for taking my coaching special where I work with you one-on-one -on -one and give you consciousness techniques designed specifically for transforming your life. So go to my website, joan-newcomb.com, and I'll see you tomorrow in another Morning Musings.